Hi, lovely people. My name is Gennaro Contaldo, and we created this fantastic partnerships with Citalia. Citalia, it is the leading company to Italy. And then we're going to take you all the way. We're going to transport you all the way to Italy. Many, many regions. That this particular region is Lombardy, which I'm going to make a fantastic result. You will love it. Watch me what I'm doing. Risotto, yes. North of Italy. Lombardy, Piamund, the rice field is everywhere. Frogs jumping all over the place. Birds goes inside. And this beautiful rice is come up. Rice is the most loved, one of the most loved ingredients in Italy. I have to call them ingredients because with the rice you can make so many different dish. This particular one I'm gonna make the spring risotto. Right here I got a nice pan. First of all, I need some olive oil. Because I come from the south of Italy, I love olive oil. So I will mix a little bit of butter and plenty of olive oil. Onions go in. And now we're going to sweat the onion. Make sure you sweat, not burn. Just make sure that the oil and the butter get a flavor of it. Because what we do after this, we put the rice inside. Because the rice is like the sea. It says, Never enough. So as soon as it gets in, get a lovely flavor. Start to eat it. The butter, the oil, the onions. So for each portion, in about one handful. But I'm greedy, and I will put two portions of rice in a bit. You stir it. The reason why you stir it because we need to toast it. We need to get the flavor of the onion right through the rice. We stir them a bit, and also in the same time. We cool down as well the pots because the rice is cold. We need to bring back to the temperature. So a little splash of a wine. I'll put some extra one inside. Stir it. Stir it, stir it, stir it. And you have to make sure that the wine is almost evaporated. So what's to happen? The alcohol evaporates and the beautiful flavor of the grapes stays inside and the rice grabbed every little pieces. For more on my amazing recipe, click to subscribe to Chitali YouTube channel. The wine is almost gone, you can see it. So I just add a little bit of a stock and make sure the stock is full season. Because here there is no way I will put more salt or other different flavor. Stir them again a little bit, and that is the time to start to put it, all this lovely ingredient inside. We start with a little baby gorgette. Oh, come on, I'll put them all. Peas. All running down, look. Bless. Keep stirring it. Asparagus, yeah, let's put them all in. Why not? Broad beans and celery. Keep stirring it. Oh, yes. You can see, do you have the lovely noise of simmerate? Now is everything stopped. Why? Because the vegetable is quite cold. So we have to bring them again to the temperature. Slowly, slowly, keep stirring it. The reason why you stir it, also to not to stick everything down, also you get the grain of the rice, touch one each other to create that creaminess. Then you make sure always the stock is boiling. You start to have one, a two ladle of stock, and keep stirring it. And this is what is about Italy, is taste, the care, the passions, the hurt, the people, the sun, the hair. So when you put them all together, you create a fantastic result like this. Every region is proud 
In Milan, especially, they're, they're very proud of all those buildings they have, all the history they have, and the fashions. Monte Napoleone in Milan, where you can do shopping, there is everything there. Monte Napoleone, they all work in like little signorina, fantastic turnaround with beautiful shoes, beautiful shirts, a beautiful trousers. Some very tired shirt. And this is with about the resort as well, full of style. But with this, you can really be very happy with a nice fashion suit. I don't know. The resort is nearly ready. Look at that lovely cream it gets on top. Look, when I turn around, it almost took all the lovely flavor that there is. And then we want a mal dente. What do you mean al dente? Al dente because you have to be a little bit undercooked because the risotto, after you remove it from the fire, is still cooked because hot. And it's al dente, the word al dente means the tooth, because you chew it long, it tastes it better and digest it better. Now the risotto is done. This way, we shake them a little bit. Okay, we move it back. And then we have some parmesan cheese. Just a little bit of parmesan cheese, not too much. Butter to cream it up. Hold it and keep it stirring. And look how cream it's gonna become. Oh yeah, oh my God. Oh my, mine. But it's not finished yet because I'm gonna put in the flavor of spring. Not too much because if you know you overpower, the flavor, the rest, little acidity. You have a little squeeze, a few drops of lemons, or you can have a nice bit of mint. Stir it in, all in. Come on. Paradise is everything here. Is the spring is inside here. Is for three months of the year. It's all inside this pot. Bless this pot. That how creamy and firm it is. Parmesan, little basil, little touch of olive oil. And this is spring risotto. If you really want the experience, really taste of Italy, the really Lombardy risotto, go to Citalia.com. Really, they will take you there. You really get full experience with it. For the moment, I'm enjoying this risotto.